Developing tonight, the family of a police officer shot and killed on a night off is suing the restaurant where it happened. Officer Thomas Orr was at Californos in Westport last August when shots were fired on the crowded patio. Police say he was an innocent bystander. And now his family's lawyer says the restaurant is partly to blame. In a lawsuit filed today, they say due to the lack of security that night, the shooter was able to pull out guns and fire recklessly into the crowd of bystanders. We have reached out to Californos. They chose not to comment, and we'll keep you updated as this moves forward. Orr's impact on the community has inspired many, including a teenager from Lee's Summit. The young man started a scholarship fund in the name of Orr for high school students planning on pursuing a career in criminal justice. Our own Rudy Harper is live in Raytown now to explain. Rudy. Well, and then Brad, you can probably hear the music. A crowd of people inside this church tonight just about to wrap up. That service just about to wrap up. Among them was a teenager who's also a youth minister, and he's practicing what he preaches. A night full of praise and worship with movie words of encouragement. We come to worship your father. A lot of people ask, how do I do it? And I just say, it's just God. Only God can do it. Lorenzo Harrison, at just 17 years old, made a name for himself after giving away a pair of opening day tickets to a young boy battling cancer. Now, at the age of 19, he's starting a scholarship fund in the name of Thomas Orr. Orr was a Lee Summit police officer that was murdered while off duty in Westport last summer. It's a story Harrison says he won't forget. Really, I just felt something in my stomach drop because it was something that he was a young guy, had an impact on a lot of kids. The youth minister says his goal is to raise $10,000 this year and to give it to 20 high school seniors seeking a major in criminal justice. I would like to help uh, offset some of the costs for their college tuition in honor of him. It's something that I believe and the police chief at least some said that they thought it was a really good idea to do. Uh, to have that in his honor, have that as a legacy. He says he's touched by Officer Orr's sacrifice and dedication to serving others. I know God is going to move through her. A calling he wants to carry on. Because his life was taken away uh, too early, basically. And a portion of the offerings tonight will go towards that scholarship fund. Harrison, a busy college student himself, although he has many more plans to plant seeds in this community and random acts of kindness. Live in Raytown, Rudy Harper, KCTV 5 News.